Welcome back to another video editing tutorial using the free software Caden Live. In this video, we're going to be creating a picture in picture effect where we'll have a main video playing and then we'll overlay another smaller video over top of that. So you can follow along. I'm just going to download from pixabay.com. I'm going to change my search to video and I'll just search jungle. And there's a few videos I'm just going to download to use. This first one's a video of a parrot. And so I'll just click free download and we'll download, I'll do the 720 so it downloads faster and renders faster. So I'm downloading this 1280 by 720. Uh, it is Creative Commons Zero. It's by Cephalonar. So appreciate this. Oh, I said it has audio too. Cool. Uh, and I'm going to go back. So we appreciate Cephalonar for uploading this. And then I'm going to download this one here that's of a, like a beach seascape by Cover Free Footage. And it's also Creative Commons Zero. So we'll go ahead and click free download, download the 720 version. And now we have these two video files. So I'm going to pause this, we'll minimize, and I'm going to bring this into Caden Live. And I'm going to do it this time by just going to my downloads folder, finding those files that were downloaded, like the parrot. I'll left click and drag it into the project bin. And then I'll grab the other one, which is the seascape. Perfect. Uh, now what I want to do, I'll just, I want the seascape to be my, the, whichever you want to have your main large footage, you want to put that on video track one. So I'm going to left click this seascape and bring it down to video track one, start it all the way at zero. And I'm going to come down here and resize a little bit so I can see my timeline better. And then I'm going to grab this video of the parrot and put it on uh, video track two. And then we can see this video of the parrot is quite a bit longer. It's, if we look up at the top there, it's about almost 45 seconds, whereas the seascape is only about 14 seconds. So I want to just resize this. In the past, we've done the razor tool. We can click the razor and just go to the very end, then left click and cut, and then go to select tool, click and delete. Another way we can do that, if I hit control Z and undo that cut, we can just go to the end of this video and we can just hover until we get to this little arrow resize and I can resize this parrot clip all the way down and that's just going to clip it from the end it's going to clip wherever wherever this ends at so come right down to there and then it'll snap to end right at about 14 just a little over 14 seconds so my whole project is the same length so now if I play it's going to play just the parrot and we'll probably hear the audio oh the audio is on the parrot clip well, maybe there's no audio. I thought for sure I heard some audio. Maybe that was somewhere else. I don't see any audio on this, so neither clip has audio, which is fine. Uh, but we see we're not seeing this. If we were to switch, if these were to switch places, and we put the parrot down here, and then this whatever video is on the higher uh, video track, the higher number video track gets displayed first. So now, if we play, we see the beach seascape video. But since we want the parrot to be on top, we do this. And then we just want to apply a transform like we've done in uh, the past tutorials. So we come over here to crop and transform. We drag transform and we put it on top of the parrot clip. And it brings up these options. We can then transform and change this. And it puts this box around it, this red box. So we can actually just click these corners and drag it down. And now we've got this little parrot down in the bottom right hand corner. So now if we play, <clears throat> it'll play both of them at once. It'll play the parrot clip and then it'll show kind of the beach. And we can actually move this too. Maybe it'd be better to have it in the top right corner so we can see what's going on. So that's how you do video in video. And then we can also add in if we wanted to, we can add in just a picture. If I go, what, what's a good picture I have? I have a picture here of a guy falling. This is just a, let's open it up here so I can show you. It's just a picture like a, is it a JPEG? It's just a JPEG image of like a person kind of falling. And so it's not a video clip at all. But we can also just drag in this video clip. So we can put it on video three. I'm sorry, not video clip, this picture. And now it'll just play this picture for like five seconds. If we double click, we can change the duration. Or we can go to the end like we did with the video and just scroll or drag and keep it. So now this is the same length. And now we see it's kind of overlaid on top too. We can see the video on the side. We can drag and drop a transform on top of this as well. And then we can transform it. Oops, why is it going over there? Oh, okay, so it's drawing it 
a box around the whole thing is as a transparent transparent on both sides but we can still just resize this that confused me for a second there so if we want this and if we wanted it to in fact what we could do is only have this display for a for a moment oops so by that I, what i mean is let's say we're playing we have our video clip of our parrot going here and then when it gets to that point of the video it displays this picture and then it goes away so, and then we can move that to any point in the in the video clip and we could also do that same thing with the with the parrot if we sh scale this down a little bit more or not if we shorten it then we'll see it'll play we'll have the picture come on for a short while and then as soon as the picture goes off we can have the parrot go away as well and yeah creates that the uh, Let's say do video in video or picture in picture effect. We could also have the picture be the static background if we wanted to, and then resize the beach footage to make it smaller. So I think you're getting the idea of how that works. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them below. Go ahead and uh, like and subscribe if you found this video informative, and I'll catch you on the next video.